Welcome back everyone. There are thousands of people are watching us right now from all around the world. I'm very excited. We want to open an open discussion panel, AMA, ask me anything. Uh, I have a small surprise for you. I would like to introduce three keys, only three also, three key members of Bitcoin Vault management team. Um, we will start with Casper. Hello, everyone. Hello, AR. Uh, my name is Casper. It's a pleasure to be here. So maybe a few words about myself. I'm the product owner of Bitcoin Vault. I'm responsible for product uh, management and the product management. And I'm coordinating our developers. So I'm also making sure that whatever is in our roadmap is being delivered to you. And we deliver the great features to you all guys. So thank you. Thank you, Casper. The second key member is Radek. How are you? Hello. Uh, thank you, Ayal. I'm good. Uh, how are you guys? Ready? Yep. Um, my name is Radek. I'm responsible for communication of Bitcoin Vault. Thank you. Thank you, Radek. And the third key member, Peter, Piotr, how are you? Hello, thanks. Thanks, Ayala. Hello, my name is Piotr. I'm a person responsible for the development of the ecosystem for BTCV. Uh, that, in that includes uh, wallets, exchanges, uh, payment providers, and payment gateways. Thank you. I uh, will give the microphone to Radek. Uh, he will manage the AMA. You would be able to ask uh, questions uh, privately, I think, on the Zoom. And uh, we will pick up some questions because we cannot uh, cover all the questions, but you can always ask us later. So let's start. Yeah, thank you, Ayal. Uh, thank you for being with us today. Uh, it's, uh, it's a huge crowd, actually. Uh, we see that we are at least a couple thousand people today, so uh, it's, a, it's a lot. Thank you for being with us, and thank you for being such a great community. Uh, we'll move to the AMA session right now. Uh, if you have some questions, you can use the option at the bottom of the screen, uh, which is called Q&A, surprisingly, but you can use it to, to, um, to ask us any questions you may have. Uh, I will see those questions on my monitor. Uh, but first of all, uh, I, we would like to clear some things out because we al already uh, collected some of, uh, some of the questions you're asking us the most. And uh, unfortunately, we cannot talk about the price. We don't know what it's going to be or why, why it's dropping or why, why it's raising. So these topics will not be covered today. Uh, also, we cannot really talk about today about the mining as uh, we are uh, currently in the um, rather... Uh, private talks with some partners, uh, so we will be uh, giving you more details on the mining uh, activities uh, in the nearest future. Uh, but if you have any questions regarding mining, you can also always ask this. If we cannot answer, we'll just be uh, open with you that we cannot write answer right now. So uh, we have two topics which are the most common. Uh, one is uh, development of Bitcoin Vault. The other one is, uh, is uh, market adoption. We will focus on those topics today, mostly. But still, if you have any other questions, just please ask, use this option, Q&A, uh, at the bottom of the screen. Uh, but first of all, maybe let's summarize why we're here today. It's been a year of development, correct? Mm -hmm. How do you feel right now? Because uh, it's, it was a roller coaster, right? Right, uh, you know, uh, if I will have to summarize what we did in the last year, it will take hours. But really, in short, I will say that uh, the goal of Bitcoin World, of this project, was to take the source code of Bitcoin and make it more secure. And imagine how is it to start with an idea and uh, to make it a, a million or millions, uh, starting with uh, hiring good people and it's not uh, easy sometimes to find fast the right people, and I'm happy I had the luck uh, to meet and to work with uh, most wonderful people here inside the company and outside. 
around the world uh, to support both uh, the software, the technology, the infrastructure, the security, and um, also the business development, uh, the listing with the great partners, exchanges, and uh, we work more on how to make this project really useful and adapted in the industry. When the project started, we already saw that we have great potential and many people uh, all the way believed in this project for uh, many countries. And the interesting part is also a, a lot of uh, miners in the beginning uh, started to mine Bitcoin Vault to a point that even they attacked the network and prevented from our community to mine the coin. This is called the 51% attack. Uh, we were flattered that people really want uh, to have this coin, but uh, we really had to take hard decision to protect the development of this project, of this blockchain, and we decided to close the mining and connect it only to trusted parties that can support this project. And the interesting thing is now we are starting to open uh, the mining to the industry, starting with uh, BTC.com that recently announced that they are joining uh, test mining and further mining later on. And uh, all the biggest uh, mining pools are interested in talking with us uh, to mine the coin. So the goal is to make it a great project, decentralized, with a higher level of security. And uh, I think the most important is um, that we worked hard. And today, we are delivering what we promised a year ago. This is a great milestone. The Bitcoin Vault, reverse transactions, three keys security level. And thank you, everyone. I'm so lucky to have you all inside the company and outside around the world. Thank you, guys. Back to you. Thanks, Ayal. Uh, so, uh, well, one of the key questions that people ask us uh, is actually related to, to what you mentioned, exchanges, uh, adoption. Uh, so maybe, Piotr, you can tell us more about, the, about this topic. What kind of uh, milestones do we have here on the, on the, strictly on the market adoption? Sure. So basically, uh, we are uh, doing what we can to be listed on as many exchanges as possible. Uh, that's, that's our goal. Uh, we strongly believe that we will be able to be listed on five, up to five exchanges until the end of this year. Uh, we have really ambitious plans for the next year, especially in the first uh, half of 2021. We would like to be listed uh, among as many, again, as many as possible major exchanges. Uh, we are already working on it. We, we cannot uh, uh, actually tell which one of those exchanges are because we are binded by, by non-disclosure uh, agreements or we uh, want to make everything uh, what's needed to be listed uh, to the point where the uh, announcement will be, will be possible. So we will certainly will give you all uh, uh, the updates when, when, whenever we can. Okay, uh, thanks. Another topic are, is um, external wallets. Because right now we can use Gold Wallet, which is uh, a, mo a mobile app developed by us. Uh, also Electrum Vault, which, is, uh, um, which was developed with the open source of Electrum. Uh, this is for desktop uh, wallet. This is a desktop wallet. Uh, what about external wallets? Do we plan to have some uh, in implementations uh, in the nearest future? Sure, sure, that's, that's a valid question. Uh, of course we do. Uh, we are addressing all uh, key areas of the blockchain market, that being that wallets, uh, payment gateways, uh, uh, or any uh, solutions that will you know, make the adoption of the BTCB wider. Um, I think we'll be ready to announce some, uh, some uh, wallets in the first uh, three months or first half of 2021. Uh, we will be focusing 
Be besides uh, listings, we'll be also focusing in the first half of 2021 on services that are strictly connected or, or provided by those uh, key market players. And that might be, for example, uh, uh, deposits or staking or, or, uh, or you know, trading products that would en uh, enable the, our users and the BTCB holders to, be to benefit even more out of you know, holding the BTCB. Mm -hmm. So that's, uh, th those plans are ambitious. Again, each and every idea that we have and each and every product or services uh, that we want to launch is, you know, very, uh, very, um, you know, checked detailly and, and in details. And this is the basic stuff what we do. And we want to provide the secure solutions to, to our uh, users and to the members of our community. So basically, it means we're connecting with other partners with a whole ecosystem of crypto, but as well fiat currencies? Of course, that's part of the, for example, the introduction of the payment gateways or, or payment solution uh, is that you can buy a BTCV for fiat currencies for, the, for those you know, normal currencies that you use uh, daily. So that's obviously a part of the solutions that we are seeking. And actually one of the partners that we are having in Dacoin is uh, closer and closer to be uh, implemented and integrated to our solutions. We'll be updating the community as well on that. Okay, sounds great. Uh, another topic is uh, development and uh, features that, that Bitcoin Vault offers. Uh, Kasper, as a guy responsible for, for this part, uh, Community ask us a lot. Uh, yeah, we developed free keys. What now? Yes, yeah, sure. So as you said, free keys are the main feature that we de delivered after hard work of one year development. And it doesn't mean that we don't have anything to work. I would say this is quite opposite right now. We have a lot of things that we are focusing addressing right now. So one of the biggest things is the roadmap that we are working on right now. We want to present you, you the roadmap for the next year. And there is a lot of features that we would like to be there. So I will just give you the few examples what we are thinking about inside the, the company. So one, for example, we are look, taking a closer look at to the smart contracts and ERC-20 ecosystem. We see that there is a lot of possibilities out there. So this is one of the things that we are analyzing right now. There's also many different things. For example, uh, we are thinking how to benefit the Bitcoin Vault holders and, and how could we bring them benefits for holding Bitcoin Vault? And of course, there are a lot of different options right there, just in this part. So we are also thinking about that to be addressed in the, in, in the next year. What next? Um, we are also looking at the trends of the market. So we trying to see what could be the biggest game changer for the next years. For example, we are taking a closer look at the Ethereum 2.0, what they are doing, how they are switching from proof of work to proof of stake, why, how this could benefit other coins, for example, like our, like Bitcoin Vault. So we are analyzing a lot of data and just there. But I would like to mention also other things. You know, we have the gold wallet and Electron Vault. So this yeah. is our key, key software that we have been developing and we will focus on developing in the future. For example, uh, we address the user interface to be the software more user friendly for you. We will try to build their more features that will be uh, building the software like Peter mentioned some. So this is, for example, for sure, the next steps we will be taking and addressing for the next year. For your information, for over a month, we had a testnet uh, free keys uh, environment in our network. And we have gathered the amount, like a vast amount of data over there. And also we had a huge feedback from our community. And those those things we are analyzing and we are seeing what would you like to be in the software. So we will be addressing all those things in the future. So there are also different things related with the dev development and the technology, blockchain technology. We see that the technology is growing over and over and we are trying to adopt it and address it for future. So just a few words from my side. Yeah, it's a good, good uh, point. Uh, BTCV testnet, I think it's a uh... Uh, it's good to mention and say thank you to, to the whole community for uh, such a huge crowd jo joining the, the testnet. 
uh, we didn't expect this kind of uh, response from the community. So thank you very much. You helped us a lot. <laughs> Moving forward, speaking about development, uh, Aon mentioned quantum computing. Can you? Right, on right. This? So as I, uh, so uh, Bitcoin Vault, one of the key features of Bitcoin Vault is the security. We underline it over and over. So uh, quantum computer is not a threat right now. But if, you look at, if we look in the distant future and we could say that the quantum computers will arrive, they, will be, uh, they can be a threat to the, the whole industry, not just the blockchain. So if we say that there is a, unlimited computing power and some algorithms could be hacked or reversed. So for sure we are look, taking a closer look to this as maybe you can see this as distant future, but we think about future with the Bitcoin vault and security at the same time. So we are thinking about how this could benefit or be a threat to Bitcoin vault. And for sure the Bitcoin vault, if there will be a threat, will be the one among one of the, the cryptocurrencies that we address uh, and probably could be resistant to the unlimited quantum computing and we can get into details like ecliptic curve reversal but just for your information we are also trying to address very high technology parts to be included in the development of Bitcoin Vault. Uh, would you agree that there are also uh advantages from quantum computing to blockchain? Oh, yes, because I mean, right now this is just a theory, a distant future, but a year ago no one had like... It's a, a matter of decades, I would say, right? We or don't know yet. Years. A year ago no one had the free key solutions, right now there is Bitcoin vote. Right now there is no quantum computers, but who knows what will be in future. I would like just to address that we have a, a very good team that is focusing on the, on the challenges of the future, and we are, we are just taking into consideration. So okay. there could be benefits and threats, and at the same time we look at the security of Bitcoin vote. So yeah, we are trying to address everything on our okay. side. Sounds interesting. Uh, one of, uh, uh, also one of the, the, the most common questions uh, asked by the community uh, is uh, what kind of use cases do we see for uh, Bitcoin Vault and reversible transactions? Ayol, this is your idea and this is your work. How do you see this? Topic. Right. Um, before we started this project, we already found out that there are billions of dollars lost uh, due to hacks or just lost transactions, sending transactions to the wrong addresses. And um, I would say that um, in exchanges, when there's an automatic payment system and a lot of people involved or crypto institutions, uh, there's the biggest risk of, uh, of hacking. And that today, if coins are hacked from exchange, uh, most likely they cannot retrieve it back um, due to uh, weak regulations. And also the technology that does not allow them to, to take the coins back. You actually need to do a very complicated process with, uh, with police and the lawyers and house of court. It can take years and you might even fail and you will not see these coins back. Um, Bitcoin Vault is uh, the solution for this kind of situations where the exchange has 24 hours to observe any unauthorized transaction. And then they can actually use a second key to retrieve these coins back. So we talk about uh, the revolutionary will start with the exchanges companies and crypto institutions. Uh, we believe that uh, this kind of technology, Bitcoin Vault, reverse transactions will actually dominate the area, the future of uh, blockchain and crypto. And of course, uh, many people make mistakes with sending the transactions to the wrong addresses. Yeah, I, I'm a great, great example of that, actually. <laughs> Honestly, uh, it never happened to me. I'm very careful, but you cannot be too careful. That's true. And um, in this case, with Bitcoin Vault, you can retrieve the coins back. And if you need to do a fast trans transaction without waiting 24 hours for confirmation, you can use the third key and you can send the coins the same speed as Bitcoin today. Okay, thank you.
Uh, this is all the questions we have prepared for today, but uh, I'm, ha I'm having a live uh, um, preview of uh, what you're asking on uh, Q&A. And uh, there is a question, is there going to be a video explaining how the free key structure work? Uh, yes, we will have uh, tutorials. Uh, actually, the video will be tomorrow. Yeah, so we will have tutorials. Uh, and uh, all the stuff that user uh, will need to, to actually understand this process because it's, it's not simple, I'd say. It's not, not, not so simple. But we are working on the UX as well. Yeah, right? I, I said it, that we will try to make it as user-friendly as possible. So apart from being secure, we're trying to be a user-friendly in general as a software uh, in our software that, 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 that there is available right now. Uh, maybe I will say you need to remember that uh, today there is the software upgrade, but you don't have to use the three keys immediately. This is something you can adapt uh, as you learn, as you educate yourself, you can start use it. Um, many people are already using it as a test net. We will use it, we will practice, we will teach, and uh, hopefully everyone will use it very soon. Uh, another question, coin market cap. When can we be listed on the coin market cap? Uh, as I understand, we are currently um, talking to CoinGecko, right? Yeah, that, that's correct. Uh, we are uh, you know, checking uh, all the requirements that they have, and uh, we will shortly be doing the same with coin market cap. Uh, what's important is that those are really mature organizations uh, with, uh, you know, years of experience and presence of the market. And they have also extensive requirements for which we have to prepare. So, so this is, a, you know, a process of, of listing which sometimes takes some, a bit more time than, than we would like to, it to take. Uh, but eventually we'll be there and, uh, and we will, yeah, yeah, what we are doing, we'll, we are preparing. So it's right? just a matter of time. Another question, Piotr, to you. When will be listed on Binance? Well, time will show. <laughs> Again, uh, as, as mentioned, uh, this is actually a goal of every coin. I mean, Binance is one of yeah, it's the, the top, exchange, even, even yeah, the biggest one in the world. So, so each coin, I think, um, really wants to be listed there, to be traded there. Uh, they have, uh, you know, very nice products and services around the, the coin itself. Uh, so, yes, that's, that's a goal, uh, obviously, for us as well. Uh, again, uh, to meet all the requirements that they have to, uh, to inform them on all aspects of our technical development and history, that's, that's sometimes a challenge, and we are facing this by preparing ourselves to be listed there in the, uh, hopefully in, uh, as soon as possible, uh, but I would say that the first half of or 2021 is possible. Uh, okay, thank you. Uh, I see that there is a lot of questions about coin market cap. I think community anticipates this a lot. Uh, but guys, you need to understand it's a, it's a process. We are in the process and we will be there. Um, <clears throat> I'm looking at the, uh, at the questions right now. Uh, some of them are repeating. Uh, it's, uh, Binance is all over, <laughs> by the way. Mm, the question is, is the free te key technology patented? Do you have a patent, Ayo? No. It's not patented. Actually, we want uh, other coins to adopt it. We will be honored to know that we were the first uh, to write the code and to educate the market to use it. Mm -hmm. uh, there is a question about airdrops. Um, if we are planning any airdrops, uh, actually, yes, we are in the process of um, creating a, a proper mechanism for airdrops because we want to uh, we want to reward all of you guys who have been uh, with us uh, as as long basically as you could, and uh, this will be first of all aimed at the hodlers of of the coin. So yes, we plan some airdrops. 
Maybe last question. Will there be a BTCV debit card available? Do we have some plans for debit cards? I'm not sure I'm allowed to say about this. <laughs> we have a project aiming at, at checking that. And uh, uh, as I was telling you earlier, uh, we are looking at the whole ecosystem of, of products and services, uh, debit cards, or maybe some uh, um, you know, the deposit solutions, or, or the investment funds, or exchanges, wallets, etc. It's, it's, you know, the, the whole uh, portfolio of products available there. And we are, what we are doing is we are, first of all, having those priorities to be first, firstly listed on as many exchanges as possible, then to broaden our portfolio in terms of wallets and other related services, etc. So, so I, I can surely say that uh, a debit card is one of the projects that we are analyzing and preparing for, um, and that, that's that. Okay, uh, a lot of questions are repeating. I see there, is, uh, there are hundreds of them. I cannot really, uh, you know, uh, it's a challenge to, to read all of them. Uh, I'm just picking some. some. Um, so like, maybe let's take a last question and uh, mm -hmm. we can uh, move forward. Uh, the question is uh, related to trading. Uh, do we plan to have some uh, trading uh, activities uh, to traders? So basically the answer is yes. Uh, right now we have a fully functional, well, not right now, but in a, two hours? In a couple of hours, right. In a couple of hours, we're, we're waiting for the block height to, to come and uh, then we go with the uh, full upgrade. There will be free keys available. So we can say safely that after tomorrow, you will be able to, to actually create free keys wallets uh, on your devices. Uh, and uh, the question was related to trading. Uh, I know there is a lot of traders in our community, and yeah, we, we, we surely we, we, we remember about you. Uh, would you like to summarize, or yeah, can so I close? I see that uh, there are many questions, and hundreds, it's, uh, hundreds it's good that we will record them so we can uh, answer them to the community. Yes. Uh, today was the first time uh, we introduced uh, three keys three key members, and uh, three members, three key members. And um, they will be more involved, I think, from now on. It's not going to be only me. Yeah, basically, it's just the first uh, AMA in such uh, configuration. <laughs> so uh, I think we can safely say that, that uh, next year will be a lot of new updates, a lot of uh, new stuff, features coming in, and we will be still in touch with you regularly. Yes, in every couple of weeks we will update you with more great news that are coming. The guys are very, you see, uh, modest, professional, and, and careful not to say things that are uh, confiden confidential uh, with the uh, third parties. So once we are allowed to announce, you will see uh, the great progress. Again, thank you everyone here and th th thank you guys, thank you, Kasper, Radek, Peter. Thank you guys here from the company. And thank you everyone watching at home or wherever you are. Uh, thank you for all the support. Today, we start to work with Bitcoin Vault. Reverse transaction, tricky securities. Let's start. Thank you everyone. Good night.